What's the team? How's everybody doing? Hope you're all okay. Staying safe and well at home. We're back again. More solo drills, okay? I've just been drilling, 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 drilling. Got a bit of a sweat on and I'm ready to share one of the movements that I've been doing. Okay, this one, single leg, head inside. This is taken from my wrestling background and if I just take a moment to explain what's going on. Okay, I'm gonna put the chair on an angle. So what I want you to imagine is that we're uh, standing right to right lead. Okay, so this is gonna be my partner's right leg and that's their back leg at the front. Okay, so if you can just picture what's going on. That's the situation, okay? So, to accomplish a double leg from here is impossible because that leg is at the back. We can go with the head outside on this leg here, okay? But if we want to attack that back leg, we need to do the following. Okay, so we're gonna break it down a little bit slower. So I'm in my wrestling stance, okay? What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my hand on the floor and use that as a pivot point, okay? And then I'm gonna go around in kind of an arc. Okay, I'll put this hand down just so you can uh, see. I want to get my knee behind or as close to the back of the heel around here on my partner. And then my arm is gonna come inside and I connect my hands together, okay? Again, from there, wrestling stance, put my hand on the floor, okay, this arm's going to reach straight around the back, but I put it on the floor before so I could show you where my knee was positioned, so I'll go there, my head is on the inside of my partner's leg, so I'm going to go nice and deep, you want to go elbow deep, don't grab with your hand, okay, you want to wrap and go elbow deep, hands together, and that will be the beginnings of the pickup. We're just gonna be drilling the setup for it, okay? So, you see it all the time, people go for any kind of leg attack, they just grab with the hand like that, okay? This is a big problem, uh, and it's a bad leg attack, because it's easy for them to sprawl and break that grip on my hand. What I wanna do is go super deep and try and go with the elbow then it's gonna be much harder for them to break my grip. And as I'm shooting, as their leg's going back, they're gonna arrive inside my armpit, anywhere, uh, armpit uh, elbow joint there, okay? So, again, wrestling. I'm gonna choose to go hand on the floor, scoot around, and then go nice and deep, hands together. That's when I'll pick up. This one I use more for no gi, but uh, still valid with the gi, although you usually tend to end up in some sort of grip fight when you've got the jacket on. More common with uh, no gi. So again, I want the leg at the back, I'm going to put my hand on the floor. Now you're going to see, I'm going to put my hand out so you can watch where my knee goes. See, I want to go right behind that foot, near the heel, and then my arm is going elbow deep and my head is on the inside of the leg you want to position your head right here with your ear on the thigh and you're looking in okay so that's it nice and easy it's a nice movement so when you're practicing and drilling you want to be in a good wrestling stance okay nice wide base okay hands in front head looking up and then just practice, you know, you can be uh, just level changing, you can fake to touch the floor, see? You can fake your mat, you can be touching, you want to be in a distance where you can actually reach out and touch your opponent. I wouldn't try to shoot for that back leg, or I wouldn't even shoot for the lead leg, all the way out here, okay? I want to be where I can touch. So we're going to be touching, moving, level changing, okay, now when we see the moment, go in, and collect the leg. There you go, guys. I've just been repping this out for speed. Doing lots of reps, okay? But break it down, do it technically, do it for speed, train it however you want. Just please go train it. Whoops. See you in the next video. Take care.